What's up guys, this is Brendan from Discount Inboard Marine and today we're going to be showing you how to use this Fake Lake inboard engine flusher to start your boat up before uh, the summer, before you get it in the water and check for any leaks, uh, any water leaks or oil leaks, you know, see if you need to change your impeller if it's getting too hot or whatnot. Um, so basically this is the Fake Lake, it's a very simple design. There's a little uh, push button here for height adjustment, and you just press press the button in and slide it, and you know it'll adjust the length of the shaft. Um, what the length is needed for is to prop up against the uh, ground and your boat to secure a tight flush against the intake grate. Um, once we get that secured against the ground and the intake grate. Uh, we're gonna hook up a little water hose in this intake and um, you know twist on the, the water hose um, and then we turn the water on this bowl will start filling up and the intake grate which will show you where it's at it's different on certain boats uh, but today we're working on a 84 Mastercraft Stars and Stripes with the PCM 6 liter ZR409 so we're gonna go ahead and get up underneath the boat show you where the intake grate is and uh, check for some leaks and stuff so this is the intake grate we are at the uh, basically center of the boat right above where the drive shaft comes through the hull. This intake grate is what is going to uh, allow the water to be sucked into the engine by the raw water pump and um, we're going to fill this bowl once we connect it up with water and so that's the water that's going to be sucked up into the intake grate allowing you to run the engine in your yard, um, you know, on the dock or ramp, wherever you have it. And um, one last thing I will say is I don't recommend running the boat past 1500 RPMs. Um, this little bowl only fills up with so much water and the faster uh, the engine spins, the faster the raw water pump will spin and the more water is going to be sucked into the engine to cool it. All right, we're gonna just make sure it's sealed all the way around there. And then we're going to twist the handle and just kind of make it a nice tight fit up underneath there. And now that it's nice and secure and tight, we have a flush connection. We're gonna hook the water hose up. And there we go. Here's the amount of water before we turn the boat on. Should be a little bit less whenever we turn the key on and hear the engine start up. So we're gonna go ahead and start the boat up, but we're not gonna put it in gear. We're just gonna press the button to let the, the engine rev and not be put into gear. The strut bushings on the shaft are water lubricated, so that's why we don't wanna put it in gear. Just rev the engine up. <laughs> water stop leaking out from the fake lake and you can look and see if there's water uh, that is running through. So that's it. You know, when you're doing the fake lake procedure, you just want to make sure that there's water coming out of the exhaust. That's a pretty big important thing. If there's no water coming out of the exhaust, you have a blockage somewhere and you want to shut the engine off immediately. So anyways, whenever we have the fake lake running and the engine running, you want to make sure all of your drain plugs are in. You want to make sure all of your hose connections are tight and hose clamps tightened uh, from the thermostat housing to the cooler, um, you know, all of your water hoses, everything like that. And if you're all good, there's no leaks, anything like that, then you're all good to hit the water and have a good summer. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this is my first one, so appreciate uh, you guys just watching. And um, if you guys have any other recommendations, let me know. As always, this is Discount Inboard Marine. Our number is 803-345-0996. I'm Extension One, mainly just sales and uh, 
Vince is extension three. If you guys have any questions about this process, feel free to give either one of us a call and we'll be able to help you service your boat so you have a trouble-free and fun summer. Thank you guys. See ya.